Hello guys, some birds have to defend themselves from predators by flying away, while others use their talons and beaks as weapons. Birds have feathers that give them the ability to fly and make nests. Several birds worldwide, but which ones should you be the most afraid of? Many birds can fly and attack humans who invade their territory with talons, beaks, and claws. They want only to protect their home, so humans can usually avoid being attacked if they accept the bird's space and boundaries. Here are 20 of the deadliest birds on the planet. Number 20. Cuckoo Bird It can't be simple to be a cuckoo if you're a bird wanting to be taken seriously. Being called a cuckoo does not earn you much respect in a group of animals, including the golden eagle, the sharp-shinned hawk, and the great crested heron. The unfortunate dodo was the only bird to ever have a worse name, and just look at what happened to him. Due to cuckoo's mysterious nature, the sound may be the closest you get to the bird. If you do spot one, you could be shocked by its size. Some believe that their absence for most of the year might be explained by their ability to transform into a hawk and back again in the years before migration was recognized as a fact. Cuckoos sometimes resemble sparrow hawks due to their large wings and tail and the black banding across their breast. Cuckoos are nevertheless frightening in their cunning manner. At least three dozen of their numerous species exhibit parasitism, which means that although they lay their eggs, they frequently depend on other birds to take care of the chicks. Of course, stepmothers don't do it voluntarily, but in any given place, parasitic cuckoos adjust so that their eggs and chicks mimic those of the other bird species that reside nearby. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Sparrowhawk Gardens are the perfect hunting grounds for sparrowhawks because they are adapted for hunting birds in small areas like dense woods. Male sparrowhawks have orangey-brown bars on their chest and belly and bluish-gray-black wings as adults. Young birds and females have brown wings and backs beneath brown bars. Sparrowhawks have long, yellow legs, vivid yellow or orange eyes, and long talons. As with all raptors, females are bigger than males. The sparrowhawk has slender, moderately long tail feathers and rounded wings. The little males have a back that is blue-gray and white underparts that have reddish-orange bearing. The females are substantially bigger and have gray bands beneath their browner upper body plumage. Their cheeks are both a ruddy color. The largest size disparity of any bird is between females and males of the sparrowhawk, which can vary by up to 25%. It is believed that smaller males can chase their small bird prey more quickly. Because they depend on surprise, sparrowhawks frequently take the same path to approach possible prey, which in gardens means hiding behind a hedge or shed. Sparrowhawks breed between May and July and like to nest in deep woods. The male sparrowhawk performs all the hunting and feeds the female and the young until they are old enough to be left alone. Then, for up to a month after the baby sparrowhawks have fled the nest, both parents continue to seek the juveniles. Number 18. Red-tailed hawk this hawk is most likely the most widespread in North America. On practically any long automobile travel any place, you'll spot a few people if you have keen eyes. Red-tailed hawks glide above wide open fields while making steady, circular motions with their large, rounded wings. Other times, you'll see them perched atop telephone poles, keeping an eye out for vole or rabbit movements, or just waiting out the coal before ascent into the sky on thermal updrafts. No matter what kind of hawk or eagle is seen on television, the loud cry that can nearly always be heard is that of a red-tailed hawk. Amazingly, birds have evolved for life in the air. Even the largest female red-tailed hawks weigh approximately 3 pounds, making it one of the mightiest birds in North America. A little dog of comparable size might weigh 10 times as much. The Harlan's hawk spends the winter on the southern Great Plains after breeding in Alaska and northwest Canada. Instead of a red tail, this extremely dark variant of the red-tailed hawk is a tail marbled with white, brown, and gray until ornithologists discovered numerous individuals that were intermediate between harlands and more ordinary red-tailed hawks, it was earlier thought to be a different species due to its distinctiveness. Number 17. Barred Owl Who cooks for you? Hoots the barred owl. It's a characteristic sound of old woodlands and treed swamps. Who cooks for you all? 
but this lovely owl with its profound brown eyes and brown and white striped feathers can fly soundlessly through the thick canopy or nap on a tree limb without being observed. Originally an eastern bird, it moved south into California throughout the 20th century through the Pacific Northwest. Even though they are much easier to hear than sight, barred owls are active at night. Visit woodlands near bodies of water and listen closely to the barred owls barking who cooks for you sound. Big bottomland forests around rivers are ideal habitats for the species. This may sound like a huge dog from a distance. Wait patiently after trying to mimic the call with your voice. A territorial barred owl may fly in to look you over if you're fortunate. If you're lucky, a peaceful stroll in an old growth forest during the daytime can lead you to a roosting barred owl. The great horned owl poses the greatest threat to the barred owl from predators. Even though the two species frequently coexist in the same regions, a barred owl will change its territory if a great horned owl is nearby. Number 16. Blue Jay In addition, blue jays are not hesitant to confront other birds and can fiercely protect their food and breeding places. Those who approach too closely may also be dive-bombed by them, including humans, dogs, and cats. Blue jays are omnivores that prefer woodland environments, while they can also be found in open rural areas. Jays consume a lot of nuts, fruits, and seeds, but they also hunt other small birds and consume insects like grasshoppers, beetles, and caterpillars. When blue jays do hunt, they are vicious and will break into nests of other birds, steal eggs, and harm or kill young birds. They hunt more than they can consume and hold their prey in their feet as they peck it open. Although blue jays occasionally pick at dead or dying adult birds, it's quite improbable that they would try to assault a fully formed chick. Blue jays may be obnoxious, yet they are aware that either themselves or someone else could be the target of a hunt. Blue jays will stay away from a place where they feel threatened, and a giant plastic owl can be all that's needed to convince a jay not to linger for too long. Since jays are a member of the same family as crows and are quite intelligent, it won't take them long to realize that the owl is a hoax and it isn't a serious threat, but it will probably offer a temporary fix. Number 15. Harpy Eagle The harpy eagle is distinctive among eagles. Few eagles can be mistaken for it because of its matte black back, white to dingy gray feathers underneath, and fine crest of feathers on its head which it raises when threatened. This is particularly true when you take into account its magnitude. Harpy eagles are in a three-way tie with the stellar sea eagle and the Philippine eagle for the title of world's largest eagle at over 20 pounds and over 7 feet in wingspan. The harpy eagle lives in southern Mexico, Central America, and the Amazon and has a variety of adaptations that make it one of nature's most outstanding hunters. The harpy eagle's talons may be its least cunning killing instrument. Even the most collected individual would be startled by these weapons up close. The longest talons of any eagle, the feet of a giant female, are easily the size of a human palm and are capped with four almost absurdly long black claws that unfold into a lethal grappling hook. The claws of a harpy eagle can reach five inches, similar to those of a grizzly bear. These amazing inventions have only been used to yank large animals out of trees and hold them there. Sloths and big monkeys, neither of which travel far from the middle reaches of rainforest trees, make up most of the harpy eagle's diet. Number 14. Martial Eagle The largest and most powerful African eagles, martial eagles, have the strength to knock a grown-up man off his feet. They are said to possess the strength in one foot to shatter a man's arm. The martial eagle, the biggest eagle in Africa, has a wingspan of almost 6 feet 4 inches and weighs almost 14 pounds. Its length is 32 inches, and the upper parts are dark brown with a white belly and black stripes. The juvenile bird has a very different appearance from the adult. In some regions, birds such as guinea fowl, Fran Collins, bustards, or poultry play a significant role in the diet. The martial eagle has known to have taken prey as huge as a European stork. In other regions, the main food sources are mammals, particularly hyrax and tiny antelopes. Occasionally, small domestic goats and lambs are taken, as well as larger animals like an impala calf and some monkeys. Serval cats and jackals are occasionally taken, along with carnivores like mongoose, along with a few snakes and huge reptiles. It will eat anything offered but prefers game birds, hyrax, and chicken. The only carrion it is known to eat is possibly dead lambs. Martial eagles always build their nests in trees between 20 and 80 feet above the ground. Number 13. 
golden eagle. The wilder parts of North America, Europe, and Asia are all home to this beautiful bird. The golden eagle is almost as huge as the bald eagle, but it is less of a scavenger and more of a hunter. It often eats animals as big as foxes and cranes. The golden eagle was important to many Native American tribes. They respected the eagle's bravery and strength, and thought the bird and its feathers had magical powers. Golden eagles are mainly dangerous because they are very protective of their nests and will attack if someone gets too close. People should always stay at at least 300 feet away from an eagle's nests. Aside from being fiercely protective, their beaks and claws are razor sharp, and they can run faster than any person on the ground. Eagles have sometimes attacked people, usually to protect their nests or territory. But eagles don't eat people, and they don't hunt them either. If an eagle attacks, it is likely that the talons will cause deep cuts, that bones will be broken, and eagles can easily crush an arm or leg if it gets a hold of it. Number 12. Stellar Sea Eagle Getting to know this lovely eagle family member is undoubtedly worthwhile. The stellar sea eagle is the world's heaviest bird of prey when weight is averaged out. The stellar sea eagle inhabits the coastal areas of northern Asia and is marginally smaller in size than the happy eagle of Central and South America and the Philippine eagle. One of the most spectacular birds in the world, the stellar sea eagle is one of the largest raptors. The stellar is a large and imposing bird with adult females weighing 15 to 20 pounds and having a wingspan of 6 to 8 feet. The male of the species weighs between 11 and 13 pounds and is significantly smaller than the female, as is typical with raptors. The largest adult stellars may reach 41 inches, ranging from about 33 inches. The majority of a stellar sea eagle's body is typically black or dark brown. These birds' shoulders, legs, tails, and heads are covered in striking white feathers. They have the largest cranium of an eagle in the entire globe, and their eyes, feet, and huge bill are all extremely bright yellow. They do not develop their full adult coloring until they are about five Five years old, at which point they also become sexually mature. Initially, incredibly silky white newborn eaglets quickly change to a brownish gray hue after a few weeks. Number 11. African Crowned Eagle if you include the tail feathers, the African crowned eagle measures up to 31 to 39 inches, 80 to 99 centimeters in length. In terms of length, it ranks as the fifth largest eagle in the world. Its long tail is a flying compass through the forest, similar to a boat's rudder. Despite various claims to the contrary, a crowned eagle's largest authenticated wingspan is 6 feet 3 inches, 1.9 meters. This is regarded as a relatively small wingspan for their weight. Their wings are extremely broad though. Because of this combo, they can easily move around in their home in the forest. African crowned eagles are flesh eaters. Their food consists of animals to a minimum of 90%. Their nutrition varies depending on what is available locally because they are found in numerous African nations. Their main prey items include monkeys, undulates such as antelope, and rock hyrax, charming small creatures endemic to Africa and the Middle East. They may occasionally eat a bird or a lizard, but this is not typical. The strongest eagle in Africa is the crowned eagle. Based on the proportion of eagle size to prey size, some contend it is the world's most powerful eagle. Number 10. Cassowary It is commonly known that cassowaries may be hazardous, and they are the only birds, along with ostriches, that have been proven to have murdered humans. Attacking cassowaries charge towards the victim, kick them, and occasionally jump on top of them. Cassowaries can kick forward and downward, unlike emus, which supposedly can only kick backward. No, I don't believe this either. They might also barge, peck, or headbutt. They must frequently result in puncture wounds, lacerations, and bone fractures in people. The likelihood of suffering serious injuries from a cassowary assault increases if the victim is lying, lying, or falling to the ground. It's dangerous to stoop or turn one's back on a charging cassowary. claims that jogging provokes attacks by cassowaries, ostensibly because the sound of running feet mimics a competing cassowary stamping its feet, cannot stand up to inspection because strolling persons have experienced attacks more frequently than joggers. Cassowaries do not typically attack though. Additionally, cassowaries will peck or kick at windows and doors, occasionally shattering panes of glass or screen. In these instances, they are apparently assaulting a reflection that they mistake for a different cassowary. Additionally, because they seem to equate human occupants of cars with food, they will kick or chase after them. Because they are frequently preyed upon by feral dogs and dingoes, cassowaries detest dogs and will attack them without warning. Number 9. Australian Magpie 
The Australian magpie is one of the few birds that Australians are as acquainted with. Experts claim that this impressive black and white bird is a huge type of butcher bird. Apart from its widespread presence, magpies are common throughout Australia and its propensity to swoop at unsuspecting bystanders during its springtime nesting season. The species' familiarity is likely a result of both its endearing caroling song, which is a vital component of the Australian scoundscape. Only a small percentage of magpies swoop on humans and those who frequently have a penchant for a limited group of people they are familiar with or particular categories of targets like pedestrians and cyclists. A defense zone is the only place where a magpie will defend its nest. Normally, this area is 110 meters for pedestrians and 150 meters for bikers. Male magpies guard their eggs and offspring, which are in the nest for roughly six to eight weeks between July and November, by swooping on people almost exclusively. As the chicks get older, magpies frequently become more aggressive, but swooping typically stops once the young have fled the nest. The defensive tactics used by magpies can include non-contact swoops with or without beak snapping, pecking, dive bombing, and even frontal attacks from the ground. A few outbreaks are more severe, resulting in bleeding from the ears, cheeks, or even the eyes. All magpie assaults must be addressed carefully due to the possibility of eye damage. Number 8. Southern Giant Petrel Giant petrels are big, full marine petrels that resemble mollyhawks in size and have enormous bills and wingspans. They are more closely related to five smaller full marine petrel species, including the Antarctic fulmar, cape petrel, and snow petrel, while looking similar to mollyhawks and albatrosses. Contrary to albatrosses, which have two smaller separated nostrils located on each side of the bill, they have two big tube nostrils connected on the top of the large bill. In relation to body length, giant petrels' wings are smaller than those of mollyhawks and albatrosses. There are two species of giant petrel, both of which have a circumpolar range and are found in the waters of New Zealand. At the same time, the southern giant petrel breeds closest to home on Macquarie Island, and the northern giant petrel breeds on four New Zealand sub and Arctic island groupings. The biggest dangers to northern giant petrels include getting hooked on longline fishing hooks, drowning, and getting killed in collisions with the heavy metal cables used to attach trawl nets to fishing boats. Between 1997 and 1998, it's believed that illicit or unreported longline fisheries killed between 2,000 and 4,000 gigantic petrels. Improved bycatch mitigation techniques have now reduced the amount of the species observed bycatch in various longline fisheries near breeding colonies, notably South Georgia. Georgia. Amazing, isn't it? Number 7. Bearded Vulture Bearded vultures have always been viewed as serious threats. People used to think they caught and murdered livestock and infants. In the Alps, where they had just been reintroduced, they were hunted to extinction and wiped off. A gorgeous and sizable member of the vulture family, the bearded vulture is a bird of prey. Its primary dietary peculiarity, necrophagy, is something it has in common with its siblings. In other words, it eats animal remains. Bearded vultures, in particular, consume virtually exclusively animal bones as part of their diet. Additionally, if they are too big to swallow, they are thrown from great heights and broken into smaller pieces. These birds have a lengthy lifespan and can survive for 10 or 12 years in great health. Their bodies undergo extraordinary alterations, like the transformation of their brown iris color into milky white or their gray and brown molted plumage into an orange belly and neck. According to estimates, the pH level of the acid in the stomach of the bearded vulture is around 1. Large bones can be digested in around 24 hours with the help of gradual stomach churning. Even though the bone is digested less thoroughly than muscle due to bone marrow's high fat contact, bone's net energy value is virtually as good as that of muscle. What else do you know about the bird? Share your thought in the comment section below. Number 6. Peregrine Falcon in flight, the American peregrine falcon is a magnificent bird. The average length of its pointed slender wings is 40 inches. It has a dark blue-gray body and crown with a white or buff underside contrasted by a few small black bars. This graceful bird of prey can be identified by its highly hooked beak and mustache-like pattern. The peregrine falcon moves at an incredible speed. Its top speed during normal flight is 40 miles per hour, and it can fly up to 65 miles per hour during a chase. Its ability to dive into food at speeds of more than 200 miles per hour on the hunt makes it its fastest bird in the world, which is even more amazing. 
The largest bird on most of the continent, the peregrine falcons have a long tail and pointed wings. Be sure to consider shape in addition to size. The peregrine's long primary feathers give it a long winged appearance. Peregrines can overlap with huge female merlins or small white gyre falcons because male raptors tend to be smaller than females. Medium-sized birds are caught in the air by peregrine falcons during stoops, which are quick, dramatic dives. They are experts at catching pigeons in urban areas. They prey primarily on shorebirds and ducks elsewhere. They frequently wait for the ideal moment to launch their aerial attack from lofty perches. Are you, in a way, surprised about the speed of this amazing bird? Share your view in the comment section below. Number 5. Great Horned Owl this large owl may be found everywhere in North America and most of South America. When hunting, this powerful and aggressive animal, sometimes called the tiger owl, takes a variety of prey including rabbits, hawks, snakes, and even skunks. It will also attack porcupines, frequently with disastrous consequences for both prey and predator. In the north, great horned owls start building their nests fairly early. On midwinter nights, you might hear their powerful hoots reverberating through the forest. Hunts primarily during the night and occasionally at dawn. Observe from a high perch and descend to catch prey in its talons. Possesses exceptional hearing and low light vision. In the winter, animals in the north may store uneaten prey before returning to incubate the frozen carcass. A wide range, mainly animals and birds. In most places, the majority of food is composed of mammals. They feed on many rats, mice, and rabbits, as well as ground squirrels, opossums, and skunks, among many other animals. Eat some birds, including smaller owls, hawks, and birds up to the size of geese, particularly in the north. Eat scorpions, insects, frogs, snakes, lizards, and very infrequently fish. In the north, nesting may start quite early, late winter, possibly to provide the young enough time to master hunting skills before following winter. The male conducts a demonstration flight during courtship and also feeds the female. Number 4. Venomous Pitui The first poisonous bird to be recorded was the hooded pitui. This songbird lives on the island of New Guinea in the southern Pacific Ocean. The bird's brightly colored belly acts as a predator warning flag. It also protects itself from predators because of its powerful legs and beak. The hooded patui's skin and feathers are covered in a neurotoxin. A human can numb with even the slightest scrape or stab from a bird. Any poison that enters the bloodstream can kill or paralyze the victim. Why is it so? It is among the most poisonous natural compounds, gram for gram, that science has yet to discover. Daly discovered the same poison in the hooded patui's feather fibers in 1992. Twelve years later, Jack learned from the people of Papua New Guinea that the patui get their brat toxins from the tiny melurid bugs they consumed. What caused these birds to choose the extremely toxic melurids as their main food source was a mystery that finally explained. A small, helpless dart frog needs all the assistance it can receive, but a bird free to fly with sharp claws and a strong beak? Nobody knows why the hooded patui turned out to be hazardous, but is it more poisonous than snakes? Share your view in the comment section below. Number 3. Ostrich Large, non-flying birds and ostriches have long necks that extend from the round body and lengthy legs. Males employ their striking black and white coloration to entice females. Contrarily, females are a light brown color. The largest known bird in the world is the ostrich. According to the African Wildlife Foundation opens a new tab. Ostriches may reach heights of 9 feet, 2.7 meters, can weigh up to 320 pounds, 145 kilograms, and have the biggest eyes of any terrestrial animal at 2 inches, 5 centimeters in diameter. The only bird that has two toes on each foot is the ostrich. There are three or four toes on all other birds. Ostriches or Struthio camelus are mostly found in some parts of Africa. The world's biggest and heaviest birds are distinguished by their enormously strong muscular legs and feet with a hoof-like structure. Massive proportions, relatively small heads, and lengthy two-toed legs. Ostriches can be intriguing but also dangerous because of their sharp talons, large brown eyes, long necks that protrude from their spherical bodies, and slender legs. It's only reasonable to question if ostriches are a threat to people, given their terrifying appearance and towering stature. Can these birds harm people? Do they pose a threat? Just be sure you're asking this question while you watch these videos because going near one might be brutal. Number 2. Emus have you ever been startled by a large bird bursting onto your screen? We have all heard tales of them attacking humans, so there is cause for concern. The reputation of emus as a dangerous bird exists. 
If cornered, emus may sprint away over 50 kilometers, 30 miles per hour. Otherwise, they kick with their large, three-toed feet. Under the correct circumstances, emus' toe claws can eviscerate creatures, just like those of cassowaries and ostriches, but fatalities to humans are incredibly uncommon. Emus are birds without wings. These large birds are tough and robust. They can travel great distances without stopping, drink sparingly, and go for days without eating. They are the second largest birds on Earth, standing around 6.2 feet tall. Emus are revered for more than simply their height. People also admire them for their weight. According to animal specialists, the average adult emu weighs up to 60 kilograms. This places them on the list of the heaviest birds in the world. Not only that, but the way emus treat humans also keeps us on our toes. They have a reputation for monitoring and pursuing people. This peculiar behavior leads us to believe that emus are dangerous birds. To be honest, chasing and watching the bird cannot tell you whether or not it's harmful. We need to discover another method. Number 1. Snowy Owl one of the rare birds that may entice non-birders to go outside and have a look is the majestic snowy owl. This pale-colored bird with cat-like yellow eyes occasionally appears to hunt on windswept fields or dunes in winter. It's the largest by weight North American owl. They hunt lemmings and other prey throughout the long, sunlit summers far north of the Arctic Circle. They can near double or triple the typical number of children during the lemming population peak years. Aggressive in self-defense, snowy owls Snowy owls can be aggressive when protecting their territory and engaging interspecies combat. They will dive bomb people especially near their nests and have been known to assault arctic wolves. Around breeding season, they become particularly territorial. You'll mostly be hunting for snowy owls during the winter in open species. You'll mostly be hunting for snowy owls during the winter in open spaces like fields and shorelines. Unless you travel to the high arctic, Look for any anomalies in the snow as you scan snow-covered level regions. Perhaps that lump or soiled spot is a snowy owl looking away from you. Check high points like hay bales, fence posts, telephone poles, buildings, or grain elevators because snowy owls prefer to perch in obvious places. Observe any upset birds as well. Gulls or other raptors may swoop down on a snowy owl that is relaxing on a beach. You are now aware of dangerous birds. Remember to share this video with your family and friends. Also, like my page for more.